Ladies and gentlemen, now today we've got our first look at the six year anniversary trailer and I've just watched the premiere live and it was absolutely incredible. The graphics, the detail that they've gone to for this one, man, is one of the best ones they've ever done. However, the ending, man, what does it mean for Marvel Contest the Champions? So it starts off, this is the summoner, the spaceman here. We learned that in the last cinematic trailer. So this is you and you're just, you know, chilling uh scouting the rocks there's a uh i think it's a new realm forging according to the silver surfer cinematic trailer so i think this is meant to be realm of champions in the background but you pull out five crystals now apparently you work for kabam because these crystals are clearly rigged you get domino Aegon, dr doom and stark and aunt spider-man all of them are looking so clean but there's also captain america world war 2 so i don't really understand like why he's in there man but he's looking fresh as well he's looking really really good but Cap Infinity War is the friggin' boy, and then it goes into individual matches. So here you've got Stark and Aunt Spider-Man versus Deadpool X-Force, and it's nice to see he's about as effective as he is in the game. Now this is Cap World War II versus Quake here, and you can see she's just spamming the heavy attack. Then you've got Symbiote Supreme and Aegon fighting in the dark, and oh my god, this looks amazing, man. The models, the animations, the way they glow just looks so cool. But then you've got Doctor Doom and Guillotine 2099, here so guillotine just absolutely nukes through quake decides that she doesn't want to spam heavies anymore uh cap goes in for a little bit of a finesse there pops the shield then we got the appearance of emma frost versus domino domino gets knocked down but then she retaliates with a special attack and then we got deadpool x-force throwing bananas at stark and hard spider-man uh so yeah it's good to see that he was about as useful in the cinematic as he is in the actual game but here's the interesting part so it goes back to the summoner he's got stark and Aunt spider-man and captain america with him him, and you see a figure in the distance and this figure is revealed to be the final boss of act to Kang so Kang's having a bit of a laugh here spider-man's like oh it's Kang like it's no problem like what do we even need to worry about that man act two was ages ago he pulls out a gun however he immediately starts to age and decay and just die so this hints at the fact I believe that a different time stream Kang is the one that comes down now so we've got this new villain here opens up loads of portals there's friggin' dinosaurs, man. There's spaceships. There's all sorts of stuff. It's like Avengers Endgame, but in reverse. And all the bad stuff, man. So, yeah, that's absolutely crazy. I don't know if that's Devil Dinosaur there. And then it ends with Karina twirling around shards of, I believe, the Isosphere, uh, but I may be incorrect on that one. And it also uh, transitions and kind of loops back to the start in terms of the way that it plays, because it's got the same beginning and also the same ending as well. Uh, so yeah, overall, a very interesting cinematic. The ending is definitely a little bit weird, because again, the character kind of looks a little bit like Kang in terms of his size and build. However, it might be a completely separate character that's something to do with the Eternals, but I'm really not too sure. So again, I'm not 100% sure it is Kang, but it also seems very peculiar that they put in Kang and kind of made a point of him like, uh, essentially like disintegrating uh, before a new figure emerges right behind him that does again look very similar to him. So again, I may be completely incorrect there, but let me know your thoughts and also theories in the comments section below. But aside from that, man, I was so impressed with this trailer. Honestly, the models, the animations look absolutely astounding astounding like looking at Deadpool X-Force and Stark and Aunt Spider-Man this really makes you want like a super high definition next-gen version of Marvel Contest of Champions on PS5 obviously it would need to be a very very different game from mobile but I think if Kaban were committed to do it uh, alongside Marvel Contest of Champions on mobile I think they could do some really really cool stuff so honestly man I think they need to make it happen because it would just be so so crazy with the roster of characters that they developed in Marvel Contest of Champions, I think there's a lot of stuff that they could really pour over to PS5. Again, it would be a very different gameplay, very differently, but this kind of gives us a look at what it could look like as a next generation game. Uh, and I'm all for it, man, if they ever want to do that. Like, I'll definitely be first in line to pick it up on PS5. However, again, I think the big takeaway is what does this ending mean for the next year of Marvel Contest of Champions? Because usually it's a sign of what's to come in the next year. There are lots of little hints 
scattered in as well. But I think the two big ones are somebody is replacing Kang. Um, and also there's going to be a giant T-Rex. I'm not too sure if that's Devil Dinosaur or not. But I just love the way that Kang is so cocky here. And he just gets absolutely murked and dusted. So the gun falls to the floor. The new figure appears. Having a look at him. Again, I'm not 100% sure like it's a different version of Kang. He kind of has like an Iron Man style arc reactor. So I'm not too sure if he's maybe like an infusion of like Iron Man or Kang in some sort of alternate reality. But he also does have a bigger gun than the previous Kang did. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea, man. And I'm so interested to see where this goes. All I know is he looks incredibly badass and very, <laughs> very menacing. So I'm not too sure if he's going to be one of the final bosses in Act 7, if we're building up to that with the story that's going to come over the next few months. Uh, but yeah, I'm very curious to see uh, what's going to come of it. But as always, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy today's breakdown and review, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. But honestly, this is so much better than last year in comparison, man. The trailer for Marvel Realm of Champions for the five-year anniversary was so disappointing. So this has really got me hyped up for the future. But we're going to end this video by having a look at the previous two really good trailers. Right. I seize the gravity waves of the Big Bang itself and ride the universe. I am a ghost, a glimpse too fast to be perceived by human sight. I slingshot through an expanding cosmos, swerving through the fiery debris of time and space as they violently coalesce. I see a leviathan taking its last breath, cursing in the language of ancient gods. It convulses. Its very entrails hardening into bizarre crystal formations. I witness a new realm being born. A shattered mirror image of creation replaying the same cosmic contest over and over. I see the masters of this realm. Flamboyant new gods collecting mortal lives for their own vanity and entertainment. I see many champions rise and fall in their name. I see hero fight hero, brother fight brother, trapped in an endless spiral of violence as old as time itself. But I also witness the seeds of rebellious fellowship. They sprout acts of heroic sacrifice, of defiant hope. space and time. It is for hope that I search the four corners of the battle realm. It is for hope that I ride. A long time ago, I made a promise to my friends. No matter how long it takes or how far I have to travel, I will fulfill that promise. I will find them and bring them back home. Thus spoke the Silver Surfer.
So which is the best cinematic trailer so far? Let me know your thoughts. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.